what's up everybody how y'all doing today you know what i'm saying hope y'all taking care of y'all self today you know what i'm saying y'all know what to do you know what i'm saying like share and comment baby and smash that doorbell for me baby you heard him. and keep god first baby over everything so on this note my good people I'm going to let this video take off, and I'm going to play catch up at the end, baby. West News Bob Hazen has been at that scene all morning long and continues our team coverage this afternoon. And, Bob, you've spoken with neighbors who were really overwhelmed with emotion overall. It's tough in this neighborhood this morning, and you know some people in this neighborhood actually tried to help the victims, and everyone is really stunned by what happened inside that family's home. I feel really bad for the baby and the mom. Samantha Stewart was moving her things out of her apartment here close to midnight when she saw the fire at this unit. All I saw was the fire billowing out of the, um, the window, and so I immediately got on the phone with 911. She says she ran around the complex knocking on doors. One person even tried to use a fire extinguisher to put out the flames, and none of them were ready for the awful news from police. A mother murdered and her little baby also dead. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jakari Young, Chief of Police. Uh, we responded here uh, just shy of midnight in reference to a structure fire. Uh, unfortunately, once on scene, it didn't take us long to realize that the apartment was occupied. It was occupied by a mother and her three children. Um, I'm saddened to report that the mother is deceased. Uh, with regards to the three children, their ages are a one-year-old, a four-year-old, and a five-year-old. Um, the one-year-old was transported to Halifax, but is also deceased. Uh, the four and the five-year-old are over at Shands Hospital receiving treatment, uh, but they are still alive, but uh, in critical condition, obviously. Today, we will be headed to Daytona Beach, Florida. Daytona Beach is a city located on the east coast of Florida in the United States. It is in Volusia County and is well known for its wide beach and smooth, hard-packed sands. Daytona Beach is famous for hosting the Daytona 500, one of the most important races in the NASCR Cup Series, which takes place at the Daytona International Speedway. The city is situated approximately 51 miles northeast of Orlando 86 miles southeast of Jacksonville, and 242 miles northwest of Miami. This location makes Daytona Beach a popular tourist destination, especially known for its motorsports events and beautiful beaches. In a tragic incident in Florida, a mother of three was found fatally stabbed in her apartment, which had been set on fire with her young children still inside. The youngest child, a 10-month-old baby, later succumbed to his injuries in the hospital. This crime has been described by the police as one of the most horrendous they have ever encountered. The mother, Dejar Moore, was discovered by firefighters responding to a call at her Daytona Beach home. They found her lifeless body with multiple stab wounds. In the same apartment, engulfed in flames, were her three children. The baby boy was found in his crib, and the other two children, aged four and five, were also inside the burning building. These children were immediately taken to Halifax Hospital. The baby boy tragically died from cardiac arrest. The other two children were critically injured and later transported to a hospital in Gainesville for further treatment. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young described the children's injuries as resulting from being left in a burning apartment. And West News Bob Hazen has been at that scene all morning long and continues our team coverage this afternoon. And Bob, you've spoken with neighbors who were really overwhelmed with emotion over all this. Yeah, it has been tough in this neighborhood this morning. And you know, some people in this neighborhood actually tried to help the victims and everyone is really stunned by what happened inside that family's home. I feel really bad for the baby and the mom. Samantha Stewart was moving her things out of her apartment here close to midnight when she saw the fire at this unit. All I saw was the fire billowing out of the, um, the window. And so I immediately got on the phone with 911. She says she ran around the complex knocking on doors. One person even tried to use a fire extinguisher to put out the flames and none of them were ready for the awful news from police. A mother murdered and her little baby also dead. And so I wanted to make sure that 
anybody that I could get out of that apartment building, I could, I could help at least a little bit. So, I mean, I'm glad I was able to be there, but it's just really hard. Janet Jones saw the fire from her apartment just a few buildings over. It is tragic. She saw the victims loved ones arrive at the scene this morning, many of them understandably overwhelmed. Janet says she is heartbroken for them today. I'll never have another good Thanksgiving or Christmas. The family. It'll be ruined forever. The police arrested 34 year old Charles Ivy in connection with these crimes. He faces charges of first degree murder, attempted felony murder and arson. Charles, identified as the father of the older two children, was described by the police chief as having a criminal record that was minimal, but the nature of this crime was extreme. New developments now in the murders of a mom and her 10-month-old baby. Daytona Beach police say a suspect is in jail now, facing a long list of charges after detectives say 34-year-old Charles Ivey stabbed that mom and set fire to their apartment killing the baby. Police say this happened late Monday night at the Countryside Apartments off Bevel Road in Daytona Beach. Two other kids were also inside the home during the fire. They're still in critical condition at a hospital. News 6 is... We now know the two children who are in the hospital at this time still fighting for their life are Charles Ivey's own children with the victim. Now, police were back here at the jail trying to question him more today. They say so far he's not confessed to anything and they still don't have a motive. The evidence is clear. The evidence speaks for itself. 34 year old Charles Ivey is now facing several murder, attempted murder and arson charges. Daytona Beach detectives say on Monday night he stabbed his ex 30 year old Denasia Moore, then set her apartment on fire with their four and five year old children inside and Moore's 10 month old. The infant dying afterwards in the hospital. I have never witnessed anything this horrific in my entire career. Police say inside the apartment they found the stove's burners all turned on with papers and boxes on top to start a fire, so they knew it was intentionally set. Detectives then went to track down the murderer. We were able to track his vehicle via traffic cameras leaving the area after this incident would have occurred. Chief Jakar Young says Ormond Beach police told Ivy about his children right after the fire. After that, police couldn't get a hold of him. Detectives went to Ivy's Ormond Beach home, saw him limping, putting suitcases in his car, and then leaving. The chief says they pulled him over and arrested him. He was also in possession, admittedly, of the victim's cell phone. Now, as Ivy's held in jail, his two children are still in critical condition in the hospital. Their injuries were as a result of being left to die in a fully engulfed fire. Ivy did not say anything during his court appearance here today. He's being held here in the jail without bond. Fire officials reported that there were multiple fires set within the apartment, suggesting a deliberate act of arson. Evidence at the scene, including the position of the stove burners and debris, indicated an intention to cause extensive damage. Despite not confessing to the crime, Charles placed himself at the scene during the time of the murders. Police were able to track his vehicle using traffic cameras. He was also found with the victim's cell phone. Police Chief Young expressed deep gratitude to the firefighters and first responders who played a critical role in saving the lives of the two surviving children. He also thanked his team and the state attorney's office for their swift action in issuing arrest warrants. New details tonight about this man, Charles Ivey. Daytona Beach police say he fatally stabbed the mother of his children and then set her apartment on fire with three kids inside. Yeah, the mother's 10 month old died in the blaze. The other two kids are in the hospital and we learned today that he's actually the father of those kids. Fox 35's Connor Hansen spoke with cousins of the mother today and he joins us right now in studio. So Connor, they have to be in shock over this whole thing. That's right, John. And family members told me today they say Denja Moore was planning to come over to their house for Thanksgiving tomorrow. They say they still can't comprehend how something so horrible could happen to such a good person. Everybody is still shocked and in disbelief. We was just on the phone, you know, like talking about preparing for the tomorrow. Denja Moore's cousins, Tanisha and Princess, say they all grew up like sisters. 
They describe Moore as kind, with a great sense of humor, and someone who would do anything for her kids. Nice, caring. Nice, caring. Police say Moore was killed by the father of two of her children, Charles Ivey. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young not holding back after describing the horrific details, alleging Ivy stabbed her to death, then set her apartment on fire. Her three kids were in hospital. The defendant in this incident deserves a special place in the gates of hell for what he did to this mother and these children. Denja Moore's cousins say they didn't know Ivy at all, just that she dropped the kids off with him on weekends. They're relieved that he's in jail and are thanking all the first responders who helped. This is the mother of your kids. Like, you know, you're the reason she's down here. It's just, you know, just crazy. You can't even describe, like, how we felt when we heard the, the details of, you know, what happened. Right, Family members tell me they plan to celebrate oh, Denja. Video, Man, I'm going to leave that video up there. You know what I'm saying? Now, the meme, y'all know that's my favorite word. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm going to ask my subscriber and the repeat the views that be looking at my youtube yeah i want y'all to comment too on this here you feel me yeah what make a man have the destiny and uh have 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 what type of heart that these people really, really caring on their back. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, what type of heart that you have in knowing that you stab your baby mama up, then you lit the house on fire while your jet and other two kids was in the crib and the baby deceased. What type of heart, man, that these type of people be having, man? What type of character that they toting on their back? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a mind-blowing. It's like, why? I mean, what type of heart you have for you knowing that you killing the baby. And plus they old girl. You know what I'm saying? Now, I won't have no heart like that to number one, to to, to kill a woman. Then number two, light the house on fire and 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 then try to burn my kids up in the crib. And people say somebody had to start that fire because they found boxes stacked on top of one another. And they had lit the, you know what I'm saying? He had lit the fuse, you know what I'm saying, for the burned house. House down. You know what I'm saying? But to me, what type of character that the person be having toting around them? I'm talking about what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Is it that serious that you have to do that? You know what I'm saying? And your kid was in the crib? And you, you know what I'm saying? Murder a little bitty baby man don't know how to defend for himself. Don't know how to crawl out. Don't know how to do nuts. And don't know how to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? They need to make a big example out of that clown. You feel what I'm saying? When he get ready to get behind that cage... You feel what I'm saying? I hope he go through everything he had to go through because that lady and that baby didn't deserve this man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what what what's be going on in their brains, man? I mean, what make a person snap and go out crazy like this here just for to do this to a woman and a baby? I don't know what type of character, man. To me, it, I'm like, I'm, it's mind-blowing to me because I'm like, 
What type of heart that these people have, though, to do that to their own kids and their own kids' mother? What type of heart is that? That ain't no man. You know what I'm saying? That, that wasn't enough but the enemy, the devil and the enemy working in that person's favor because for he can do that, he ain't have no heart. He ain't have no feelings. He ain't care. He he want to do what he want to do, and he want to do it his way and nobody else's way. And that's a shame, man. Anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to scratch that. That's the end. You know what I'm saying? But y'all come and let me know, man, what type of heart that people have, man, to do this to the, the newborn babies and the women's man. Y'all come in and let me know something. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just holler at me, man. You hear me? But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.